and this now should be all of the supplies we need to finish off the van build. We've got loads more that we collected from the coast yesterday and you might be wondering what are they doing in the old van? What are they doing in Vinny? I thought he was broken. Well he was broken. In last week's video you've seen he was getting lots of heat from this side wheel again. We decided to take a chance and drive him to the coast and check several times on the way to make sure the, the wheel wasn't getting heated up and it didn't get heated up and we were driving for two hours the brake didn't get stuck on so it seems little old vincer who has a mind of his own is fixed again and he took us to the coast and we managed to pick up all of our things just ignore that 29 kilo toilet that sat there obviously that is not for the build <laughs> that's for our house obviously we do know that Vinny is not fixed um, this this problem's been going on for a year now. It's coming up to the anniversary of Vinny's <laughs> brake problem. Vinny's broken caliper. <laughs> One year on. This little bit is frustrating. Getting the old seals out. Getting the old seals out. I think it here melted in the disintegrated. dust. Disintegrated. It's a 33 year old van. It's very hard to find parts for. Yeah, we think it is the caliper, but the thing mm. is, it does work. And then when you drive it up mounts or drive it for several hours, you know, occasionally it sticks on, and then we have the problems. But for now. He's a little village van and we can take him to the coast and back, which is really handy. Yesterday was so funny when we went to the coast. We went to the DIY store and we picked up a big piece of plywood, the 9 mil, and it's 250 metres, no it's not, 250 centimetres long by 125, is it? Yeah, it's not. So a big, a big piece of wood. So we took the jigsaw with us to cut it because we knew it wouldn't fit in Vinny. We thought we'll cut it in half. But we forgot the power station, so we had no way of powering the jigsaw. So we went back in the store and we asked them if they can cut it and they said, oh no, we don't have a machine. I was like, really? And then they pointed us over to the hand tools. So there's us in the DIY store with a handsaw cutting this huge, great big piece of plywood. So embarrassing. the progress that we've made a lot of it is like painting and getting things in shape and getting things in place I'm not sure what happened at the end of last week's vlog what you've seen um, but this whole unit is there now so this whole unit is in place just got to be bolted down and you know finishing touches the kitchen is in place and the plumbing is 90% finished and done and all the tubes and pipes and outside waste and everything is in the right place. It's so nice to have all of this workspace. I mean, you guys might be thinking, oh, it's too much, you know, where's your kind of seating area if you like? Do you need all of this workspace? But we do need all of this workspace or this is how we like it. And loads of room in the kitchen to cook and prepare food and we can work here get creative in these areas we've actually got a stool to sit nice and comfortably anywhere in this big area here this is gonna be like the tech cupboard we're gonna have our day bags because you've always got your day bags you come in and they cause a mess so they're just gonna get thrown in there got power down there um, we'll show you as and when we do it batteries down there fridge there so this is like the tech unit so this is whole like creative stroke kitchen area yeah and this is our work in progress bedroom stroke lounge area nick's done a really good job of getting the framing sorted we've talked about it again and again how we're going to have it again it's very similar layout but we have tweaked it quite a lot um we basically built the whole bed again didn't we we had to buy some new aluminium framing yesterday and it's coming shorter so it's not kind of right against the sliding door how it was before the whole bed is slightly bigger isn't it I look a bit worried <laughs> well this is we've actually now made the frame or nick's made the frame to the size you got the frame so it's the poles are 69 most of it we need the poles for here and a few extra bits to link that it's 69 poles with two centimeters for it's 73 
73, the size of the poles, the and size of the frame. the cushion's about 12 centimetres. Yeah, because the cushions yeah. are really big, we're obviously going to use these cushions, they're really comfortable, but they're really chunky. So that's your garage space, all of that garage space. We might have to build a bigger step. In this little gap here, it's actually going to be a laundry um, kind of bin where you throw your laundry and then there might be another little cupboard at the bottom here. We've still got the hole in the shower um, little bathroom area so when you have a shower you're going to still be able to put the loo out the way through this hole so we're going to create a little false floor there. We kind of discussed it, we know what we're doing so it's just just cracking on with it really but it is as you can see it's definitely starting to take shape. From now on we're just going to pick a section and we are just together going to finish everything we need to do in that section and get it all bolted down and done. So first job is the sink area. By the end of this vlog we will have running water in this van. As you can see Sarah's losing the plot with this. Look at this. Look how neat that little cupboard is. That's the water pump there and the power. That's the uh, hose coming through so we're going to create some holes here so we can access that you can just switch it out to a long or short hose if you're filling up from bottles or a water tap this is the water tank in here secured at the front it is by a button which has been removed yeah there's a button going across there and then it's secured here as well and then oh my goodness i don't think you oh shoot um, I don't think you've even seen this. Look at this lovely little cupboard. Uh, not cupboard, um, shelf at the back of the kitchen sink. But we want to organise the kitchen countertop, like attaching it to the whole unit. So that's what we're doing next, figuring out how that's going to go down. Um, or up. Or up. Oh, and we have to <laughs> drill the hole for the actual tap as well. So it's just getting this little section finished. Right tools for the right job. It's ridiculous, isn't it? We've lost the blinking screwdriver. <laughs> Seriously, we've got more in the house. There's a screwdriver, there's the bits in the set, but can't find the screwdriver anywhere. It's annoying. So Nick's gonna go back in a minute, get a coffee and get a screwdriver because it's a bit silly using this. Um, yeah, just moving this uh, piece out the way so we can get it to in here better and get finished off. You know, you have to keep moving things. You get everything in place and it's like, right, move everything to get back to that section to finish off a job. And I tell you, that's why we've decided to just focus on one little area and finish it completely before we move on to the next unit or the bed area again. As you progress through the building, you build the furniture. The furniture is a fun part. Um, Sarah's been working on the plumbing, I've been working on the, the unit, the, the tech unit kind of thing in the bed, creating the framework for the bed. That was a lot of a lot of hassle, working out what aluminium frame we had, measuring it, seeing how tall it was going to be, how wide it was going to be, trying to use every last pole uh, and every last connection. Doing that, doing the tech unit, Sarah doing the plumbing. Bloody hot. <sighs> Sweating because I've been just like like really kind of pushing tubes together and carrying on with that plumbing and you know making sure it's all in tight and get really hot didn't you <laughs> anyway I'm using Nick's favorite tool now just yeah too many fingers in too many pies and um, and getting things like half done so it gets a bit frustrating the other tricky thing is you have to do one job to be able to do the next job like we've been working on the plumbing unit in the sink area but the wall we put in on that side we had to actually change where the holes were because it was slightly crooked so we had to take that off that out to take that out we had to remove the sink unit unscrew that from the wall and blah 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 Ooh. another thing we find tricky with a build where you keep seem to keep going forwards and backwards like one step forward three steps back it's like the staining and painting and sanding um like with the bed i, I sanded down all the aluminium poles because they're a little bit dirty a little bit stained a little bit scratched and stuff so all the these units have already been completed i think we need to remove those and sand them down and then give them another coat of paint no way <laughs> Drives you crazy because you think you've finished a job and then you realise, oh no, we should really paint that before it goes in because once it's all done, it's done. Anyway, that's the rant over.
it's no wonder that people take some people take like you know a year to do these fan builds you can totally understand why can't you mm. like seriously it's crazy the amount of things that you have to think about we're, we're not skilled we're not experienced but we do try and do things to the best of our abilities <laughs> I'm just, so the things that go, I don't know what they're called, the attachers, clamps. clamps. I put that one in the wrong way. You see, put it in the wrong way. It's supposed to be like that. With those bits sticking out, I've got those bits sticking in. And now it's a blinking mission to get it, try and pop it off again. So that whole conversation Nick's just been having with you, I've just been trying to do this because silly ass me, put it in the wrong bloody way. Bear in mind as well, guys, um, call us idiots or whatever but we're determined to do this whole van build with just a flat plane sander whatever it's called and a jigsaw we refuse to buy you know the mitre saw the circular saw the multi-tool it's not that we refuse to buy it <laughs> idiots it's, idiots no, no, i know it's I the know. fact that we've come this far with just the jigsaw and i think you know <laughs> We, now I feel like we've cut most of the wood so it'd be crazy to get like anything better now I think it's, it just makes it too easy too easy with circular saws and got it off my saws. I yes. got it off to secure the kitchen top on top obviously we're using these aluminium framing and we don't want to have like screws or bolts through the top of the kitchen surface if we don't need to for obvious reasons for aesthetic reasons so we've got these little little um little pieces of wood that we've already <laughs> that we've already died died <laughs> See, she's lost it she's <laughs> lost it she needs that coffee <laughs> we've already stained so when you even look under you know these are going to be whatever anyway so these are a sort of bolted to aluminium where we've got holes we just need to add a piece of this thing there and you can see and then what we're going to do is we're going to glue these can come out they're riveted in to the frame there. We'll glue, 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 stick the kitchen unit on top, and then we'll probably just do some little screws as well from the bottom into the wood, and I think that's gonna be totally fine. So now I've gotta cut a little two centimeter, two centimeter section off there. To add that, because this is a little piece that we we added, because it's just making it up as you go along. There's no planning involved in this van build. It's literally making it up as we go along. I know we're concentrating on the sink area. Don't but, start getting sidetracked. But this is slightly out by half a centimeter. Oh, I know. Look at that. Oh. Nick did his measurements wrong. You can see these black bits are supposed to line up. You literally need to cut a centimeter off each piece all the way around. Yeah. It's crazy wind. It's not ideal. Oh, so you have to undo this one a bit to get this one in otherwise there's chances that you could snap them all don't snap don't snap don't snap yes yes perfect well not perfect but you know all right what happened to not moving on to another section um well, it's all linked, isn't it? It's so frustrating, so annoying because, you know, we need to slot these walls in and that is going to be screwed. These walls are going to be screwed into the wood, which is the base of the, the shower tray. And to get to that, you need to get into that area. The water tank is going to be in the way, so we need to figure out the screws. And before we do that, we need to... God, I'm getting confused myself. We need to put the battens. We're putting battens to connect these two walls together. Ah! Somehow, I don't think that you guys are following along what Nick's talking about, because I'm not. Um, anyway, I will just point out for fun. Do you see how quickly he put his cap back on then? Like Nick's got a new hairdo. So he did his hair this morning in the house. It's gone horribly wrong. Sarah won't do my hair. I, that's a lie. I will do your hair. So this, I took this off to put a bigger blade on to take down the mohawk a little bit and then forgot to put this back on and just cut into here 
Luckily, I wear a hat most of the time. You're gonna have to take it all down to that. I, think. I can't. That's nothing. That's nothing that there. Let me take over. I think, yeah. So we went down to grade zero. I told him to wait for me until he started his hair because I was like doing things upstairs. But you know, he went ahead and buggered his hair up. Charlie! Come back here. You leave that little pussycat alone. He doesn't want to play, does he? And he's probably bigger than you. It's all going horribly wrong, isn't it? Today is just not, it's, it's like, today's like probably the worst day for a little while that we've had for progress because we feel like we've just like we're just taking everything apart again because we didn't do things in the right order or I don't know like figuring it all out now we feel like we need to move the shower tray so we can do that section there before we can bolt everything to the wall this section here and then the problem is we didn't carpet this bit because we didn't know whether we'd need to screw into it whether we'd have to remove this so we could see where we could screw into it because there's holes there and now it's going to be a bit tricky carpeting it with the walls there and the lino so to start off the vlog this van was looking very good it was all sort of in place everything was great it all the surfaces everything all the units were all in place it was tidy it was neat it almost felt like we completed the van now look at it one step forward three steps back opposites attract poor abdul you remember it that's what that's what the theme tune for this van build is i think we could have that on a t-shirt not opposites attract one step forward three steps back <laughs> that's a at least you're it. still cracking those good <laughs> jokes darling we've started doing the unbuild again <laughs> we like unbuilding things but um yeah we feel like it's just going to turn a corner well at some point very soon the next few days hopefully we're just going to get that screwed in and then all of a sudden it's going to be like a domino in a positive way and it's just going to keep going and, and and then get built and screwed in and secured and we have just figured it all out we know what we're doing in this area and why we've taken all this apart but we're not going to do it now we're going to go back and get a good night's sleep and start fresh tomorrow morning and just come down here and boom <laughs> It's going to be a good day. the floor okay so we've basically just um, taken the floor up to mark where the beams are which is where we put the tape because we will probably need to drill into the floor the beams with the bed lounge area and as we're doing this job now now is the right time to do it we've just carpeted that section there and we've also put the screws into the top wall. The next big mission is the shower. house and picked up the babies so they can have a little bit of time outside are you gonna be all right in here are you and little charlie's in his little favorite place 
the back of the van underneath. Yeah. And uh, and it's it's a good day so far. It's going all right. You're not getting sidetracked, are you, darling? No, just while we're waiting for paint to dry um, and uh, something else. I need to get this up before they get broken. So a little shower rail, nice and smooth. That that's going to add an extra layer of support as well. So that's the final piece of the puzzle. And we can now put the shower into place and attach it and done and dusted. And that's what we wanted to do. That's what we found out we needed to do yesterday before moving back onto the sink area. So it is going much, much better today. We're feeling good. We've got two walls which need to be secured. We've got the base and, um, and it all needs to be sort of Secured. attached together and then to the van. I don't know where we're up to. I don't know what's happening. With the vlog. We've just been cracking on, cracking on, cracking on with the shower. Better day today, but I'm not happy because the wind's been crazy. It's not easy to work when it's like really gusty wind, there's nothing, and then a massive gust comes along and you just pause. Time stands still and you're like, what's fallen over? What's broken? What's going on? What damage? And one of my little connectors got broken. So His frame fell so over. Broke. I was so near to completing that and all, all it was all organized. He's now talking about the bed frame, yeah, the just bed in case frame, you don't sorry. know. But no, it's all right because we have done what we came down here to do today. It was a much better day. We'll tell you more about it tomorrow morning. Good morning, folks. How's everyone doing today? It's another bright day here in Andalusia and it's another van build day. And Nick's already down there. He has been down there for a little while while I've been getting on with the edit, actually, for this video you're currently watching. And we've just realized that today is still February. We didn't know it was a leap year. <laughs> and we've just been so engrossed in the build that we just lose track of the, the days and everything. Hello babies. <laughs> Nearly done. These connectors, basically, yeah, these poles are a little bit thinner than that. You've got all these connectors, so you have to shave the, the bits off that slot in. And there's like four sides, obviously, in two bits anyway. Yeah, so you have to shave them off, and if you shave too much off, you have to retape it. For these new ones, the connectors. You have to, yeah, yeah, anyway. There's no such thing, or doesn't seem to be such thing, as the right size connectors for these specific aluminium poles. So the only ones you can get are slightly too big for the original poles. Way the, too big. Way too big, because you've got to shave it all off. The new poles that we bought yesterday, day before yesterday when we went to the coast, they're actually slightly bigger, but they're still not the right size for the connectors. And the connectors are the only ones you can find anywhere. So we shaved all of these connectors down and then the new poles didn't need to be shaved down so much with the connectors. So Nick has then had to tape round the connectors to make them bigger again, to make it all fit. Honestly, that sounds complicated. It is complicated. Although Nick has been going a little bit crazy with the old aluminium framing making this bed, we still do feel that it's a really good uh, material to use to make um, furniture. Hence the reason we've used it and, and done all of the furniture, pretty much everything, no? Yeah. Everything. The overheads are about to make. Yeah, because it's so lightweight and you just clip it together with a little bit of hassle when you have to cut the things down. But but yeah, we're kind of happy now everything is complete, apart from the overheads. The overheads are not gonna be made out of the aluminium frame. We're gonna do those out of um, complete wood. So I just wanted to include little Diz especially and Charlie in the vlog because I feel like they haven't had much airtime in this video. Dizzy's been staying in the house um quite a bit over the last couple of days because it's been windy and a little bit chilly as well so he's not liked it down here so you haven't really been in the vlog at all have you 
And of course, Charlie's been with us. Charlie, you can't keep him away. Someone is very... Yeah, are you excited, Charlie? Yeah, come on then. He always wants to come with us no matter what. He's just... He doesn't care about the wind and the cold really as long as he's with us. So he's been coming down here, but little Diz hasn't. He's really looking forward to the van being built and finished as well and just taking over the place and of course being head of security and all that. In, in. I'm going to drop it. I'm drop it going to get down. out. Like keep, oh, right there. Got to keep, like keep hold of this though. Just like that, the bed is in. Yeah, so we'll quickly show you what we did yesterday. It's all plumbed in and all of these walls are now secure. We're pretty happy with how it turned out yesterday. So basically you've got battens behind here, four battens going up and that secures the whole kind of thing. It's not attached to this unit yet. It is gonna be bolted to this unit in two, three places. So it'll be solid, solid, solid. And then you've got this, um, this is for our big curtain that we're going to have hanging here. We're not gonna have a door. We're gonna have like a nice thick curtain. Um, and then obviously, yeah, it'll open up to a full size shower. Did have someone ask or several people ask, oh, you're not gonna be able to go to the toilet in there without lifting it up. And I was like, you're joking, aren't you? I am very flexible. So the toilet will be here and there you go. Picture it with a dog. Sorry, look at this. With a dog on my lap, I can go to the toilet. Ones, twos, whatever. And Nick even suggested, go there a sec, Diz. Nick even suggested, oh yeah, I can have a little like, you know, mini shower in here. Obviously we are gonna have a lid of some kind. We haven't figured that out yet. And it's gonna be a full shower. We'll have a shower curtain we put up here. Yeah. But yeah, it's good. Happy with it. Happy, Happy with, with it. that. Um, so on that note, we will finish the vlog now. Thank you so much, all, all of you for sticking around and watching these videos. I know they're not absolutely riveting at the moment, the old DIY videos but we do feel like the end is nigh. We're giving ourselves three weeks, another challenge now, three weeks, so. Oh, don't start with the blinking challenges. <laughs> don't forget to follow us, by the way, on yes. our other socials for daily updates. Daily. Daily. Ish. And uh, yep, we'll see you all next Thursday. Take care, guys. See you next week. Okay, so noisy we took him to the coast yesterday to pick up supplies rather than using the new van i'll just do it again so although nick has been going a little bit crazy with this aluminium framing i'm not gonna lie we still feel like it's it's a really good like it is we still feel that it's really good to expect a much speedier completion don't even say that <laughs>